Hello and welcome to the course of Computer Network Part 2 and today we are going to discuss one of the most uh, dominating and important protocol uh, works for data link layer and this particular protocol is used for creating local area networks so uh, this is uh, this protocol is none other than Ethernet and uh, as it's it's uh, earlier when it was invented it was uh, wired uh, technology and it's it's uh, cheap as you can see on the slide and it is the first widely used local area LAN technology it's simpler cheaper than uh, token and uh, ATM token ring and uh, ATM technology and uh, it's got the speed of uh, 10 Mbps to 10 Gbps and as you can see this this is a simple diagram of your Ethernet protocol this is this is your station and this is your network interface card and uh, it is got it has got a trans receiver so as you can see that it this this particular uh, network interface card is uh, touching the local area network uh, wire and uh, when frame comes to this particular uh, this this particular uh, wire uh, that that frames mac address is matched with the MAC address of uh, local uh, this network interface card. Uh, you can see you, you have four uh, systems are connected with this wire. First one is this, second, third, fourth. So when a frame comes to this particular wire, uh, it, that that frame touches all the uh, nodes present or connected with the wire, uh, and um, it's its uh, destination MAC address is matched with the uh, MAC address of this this uh, net, uh, network interface card of a particular machine and if it matches then that complete frame is absorbed by that particular node only otherwise if it doesn't matches then uh, that particular node rejects um, that particular frame so uh, that is how it, it works actually here we talk about Ethernet's uh, physical topologies and earlier uh, Ethernet used to have burst topology in mid 90s and uh, all the nodes are in same uh, collision domain and uh, collision the possibility of collision uh, used to be very high so that is why these days uh, Ethernet is using star topology and in this topology all the uh, nodes have their own uh, separate fully duplex connection with the switch and uh, that is why uh, this technology is used these days and it's, it's uh, very much uh, promising technology these days and uh, next next we see the frame structure of Ethernet Ethernet uh, uses a frame structure in which uh, uh, actually at data link layer uh, data link layer is the only layer present uh, in TCP IP protocol suit which provides uh, header as well as trailer. So the frame structure has got two uh, things the header part which you see this and a trailer part which you see this CRC and this is the payload or I should say packet which comes from the network layer uh, to the data link layer and uh, your uh, data link layer provides a header and trailer as well and uh, combination of these two uh, header and trailer uh, along with the payload coming from the network layer uh, as a packet uh, gives you uh, gives uh, birth to a frame so it is it is a, a structure of frame in which the first field is preamble the second field is destination address third field is source uh, MAC address, destination MAC address, and followed by source MAC address, and then the type. Then you have the data or payload, and finally you have CRC. We'll discuss all these uh, fields one by one. So uh, the first field is uh, preamble, and uh, preamble field uh, basically uh, consists of uh, eight bits and uh, it's a combination of bits actually one zero one zero one zero one zero and finally you have one again it's one zero one zero one zero one one 
so uh, this the this combination is basically used for synchronizing uh, senders and receivers clock rate basically so there should be uh, no confusion with the bits from uh, different sources like sender has got uh, its own uh, clock uh, clock rate for for uh, producing bits and receiver has got its own clock for producing bits uh, so both the clock uh, should uh, matched and uh, they should synchronized uh, that is why we have the preamble bits and the combination which is used for preamble is 10101011 the moment uh, last one comes uh, uh, to the network interface card network inter interface card understands that the next the very next bit which is about to come would be the first bit of our destination mac address so uh, let's see uh, this in the second field which is uh, destination mac address i hope we all are aware about the mac address it is a 48 bits long uh, address it is also called a physical address and this address is hard coded on the uh, network interface card of a node of a particular node and uh, whenever a frame comes to a particular node first of all that particular network interface card or that node checks the destination mac address uh, of the of a part of that particular frame with with its own mac address if it matches then only that that particular frame uh, is going to accepted by that particular node or network interface uh, network interface card otherwise uh, that network interface card rejects that particular frame if it doesn't matches uh, and one more thing we should know about the uh, this this uh, destination MAC address is if it uh, it, it it that particular MAC address uh, doesn't belong to uh, that particular uh, uh, NIC, but if that is a broadcast address, as it says here, that if adapter receives frame with matching destination address or with broadcast address, which is FF dot FF and so on example uh, it says uh, for that particular thing we have to use ARP protocol which stands for address resolution protocol which we will uh, discuss uh, shortly but if adapter receives frame with matching destination address or with the broadcast address in both the cases that particular frame is accepted by the network interface card of that particular node otherwise that particular adapter or NIC or that node that particular uh, node discards that frame as I told you a couple of minutes back the next field is the type and it's uh, it's all about the uh, protocol field which we have seen in our IP header like uh, this type tells us about the uh, tells us about the uh, receiver side higher layer protocol where we have to deliver the data most of the time it uh, because because at the receiving side the higher layer of data link layer would always be network layer and most of the time it, it would be a network packet and most of the time it would be ip protocol but there are some chances that you have to deliver that particular uh, packet uh, to uh, the higher layer to some different uh, you know, protocol uh, you can see the examples like novel ipx or apple talk but 99% you have to deliver that particular packet to the IP protocol but it might happen that uh, someone is using some different network so this type field uh, is just like a protocol field which is used for uh, providing a particular protocol where we have to deliver the data at the receiving side to the upper layer or I should say to the network layer and uh, finally the field which we have as a trailer is CRC cyclic redundancy check and we have already discussed this particular um, error detection method in our last uh, lecture and uh, cyclic redundancy check at a receiver side is uh, is an error detection method as I told you that if uh, there are some uh, errors in a frame then uh, um, that network interface card will drop that particular uh, frame it will not uh, try to uh, like 
figure out the problem it will just drop the drop, drop that particular frame and it will ask for the retransmission if if uh, um, uh, what, what should i say that that reliable protocol is used like tcp and uh, now you see on the screen that ethernet is again unreliable and connection less protocol as it says no handshaking between sending and receiving side uh, sites uh, network interface cards before sending the data and it's unreliable as well because uh, receiving network interface card doesn't send any kind of acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement to the sending network interface card and uh, data in uh, dropped frames uh, recovered only if initial sender uses higher layer reliable data uh, transfer protocol as i just uh, told you that uh, it will only ask for the retransmission if higher level protocols at the transport layer uh, is using tcp protocol instead of udp then only it will ask for the retransmission otherwise it will drop the packet and will not ask for the retransmission and finally ethernet's mac protocol it's unslotted csms cd uh, with binary back off and finally uh, you will see that uh, you will see the ethernet standard that uh, the wired standard for ethernet is 802.3 ieee standard for ethernet is ieee 802.3 and uh, many different uh, ethernet standards are there common uh, mac protocol and frame format different speeds that you may find at the physical level at the data link layer level mac protocol and frame structure both are common but at the physical level the speeds may vary you may have ethernet 802.3 with 2 mbps 10 mbps 100 mbps 1 gbps and 10 gbps different physical layer media like you can have uh, fiber cables uh, or you can have uh, copper twisted pair cable so in the blue you uh, the standards you see in the blue uh, category are from copper twisted pair like 100 base tx uh, here uh, it uh, here 100 stands uh, distance in meters from between switch and uh, particular node and base stands for baseband transmission and tx is used for uh, copper twisted pair cable in the same way 100 base uh, t2 and 100 base t4 but um, the standards which you see in red are used by the uh, optical fiber and here again 100 uh, is nothing but distance in meter uh, in between a switch and a node base stands for baseband transmission and sx fx and bx these three notations are used for uh, fiber physical cable instead of copper cable so uh, that is how your ethernet works and the wireless standard for ethernet is 80 IEEE 802.11 which we will discuss later on uh, in your coming lectures but for today that's that's it uh, like ethernet is done thank you very much see you in the next lecture